Okay, so I'm outside at the, at Tracy, the Traeger. I'm just going with it. Tracy is going to be the name of the smoker or smoker slash grill. So I have everything. I've gone ahead and taken everything out of the the uh, grill here. And of course, I'm actually looking at the instructions because I don't want to mess this up. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. So basically says to unplug it, plug it in, uh, make sure that everything is off, turn it to on, uh, turn it on, and then the auger will start going. Well, actually it says to turn it on to smoke and make sure that you can feel the, the little fan going in there. I feel the fan. Then it says to fill the hopper with uh, pellets. Now, of course, it tells you to use the trigger hardwood pellets. I don't have those the pellets I have. I ended up running to Walmart and I got some pellets just so I could run this. I will order, be ordering some pellets. A couple of you guys have made suggestions as to what pellets I should use. So I will be looking into those. But of course, I wanted to get this going. So let's get the pellets in the hopper. Now, the pellets I'm using, I have a, this is a Pit Boss All Natural Barbecue Hardwood Pellets. I got the fruit flavor. This 30 pound bag was like, not even 15 bucks. All right. Fill the pellets and then turn the dial to high. Okay. When the pellets begin to fall into the fire pot, turn the, temp the, the temperature dial to shut down and that will reset the, that will reset the hot rod. So I'm just waiting patiently for the pellets to come on through. It is currently 30 some odd degrees outside. That's why I have a hat on my head. So you can see the auger down there and look there's our first pellet our first bits of pellets are coming through So you guys saw me get the pellets. I have a nice even layer down at the bottom. Now it says when the pellets begin to fall into the fire pot, turn the, the temperature dial uh, to shut down, to the shutdown cycle. So I turn it to shut down. It says to reset the hot rod. Then with the pellets still in the fire pot, turn the temperature dial back to smoke. So let's turn on the smoke. Hey. 
and I'm just gonna be patient because I don't know how long this is gonna take but it says that when flames start coming out so this might be a while all right so at this point we're just gonna wait for the flames I do have the grill back to the smoke setting and we're just gonna see what happens Would you look at that? We have flames! Alright, so I have gone ahead and turned it to shutdown cycle and I've also turned the switch to off. The pellets, I got them rearing. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna put the things back into the, the grill. And be careful doing this. Now Traeger recommends that you line this with foil. This plate with foil so that you can, uh, for ease of cleanup. I'm gonna get this back in here as well. Okay, so now at this point, I'm gonna start it back up. Okay, so at this point, flip it back over, we'll flip on to the next one with the door open, uh, switch on, turn the temperature dial, so switch on, turn the temperature dial to smoke, and it says that you should see, in about two minutes, the pellets will ignite to a whitish gray smoke will come out of the grill. After the pellets have ignited, close the door and turn the temperature dial to any cooking setting desired. But before your first cook, uh, it will need to be seasoned. Turn the temperature dial to high and let it run for 45 minutes with the door closed. And this is this is, this is a great time to grab another six pack if you haven't already. All right. I can see flames coming from the bottom. And this smoke that you're seeing is just the initial burn off. I'm looking at the plate here, the oils and other residue and things like that are burning off. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this to high. And I'm going to close the door. Man. This is cool. I'll be back to check on this in a bit, but I'm going to let it roll.
one hour later. All right. So honestly enough, it's been about an hour. I didn't mean for it to be an hour. I am uh, working from home and I'm getting a couple other things done. So yeah, uh, I just shut it down. But the inside, there is a little soot on everything. You can see where the door was open and where it was closed. But you can see a little bit of soot in there and that is all well and good. I am going to turn this off and I'm going to let it cool so that I can, I'll get the, the, the grill grate out. I might take this top one out too, just so I have more room to put things in and be able to maneuver. Then I'm going to get some aluminum foil on that, um, that plate in the back. But again, once everything cools. So like I said, I turned it off, turned it off. I turned it into uh, shutdown mode and just turned the dial off and uh, i'll be back out this thing in a couple hours i have some errands i need to run i need to finish working for the day so there's a bunch of stuff i have to do but hopefully in the next video you guys will see me cooking some chicken you guys know how i feel new grills new smokers always start cooking with chicken chicken is cheap and it's easy and if you mess up, you're not wasting money. My wife actually sent me a text message once I sent her a message showing this thing running. She asked me if it was difficult to assemble. No, it wasn't. Uh, she asked me to uh, cook some ribs and I'm like, ribs? She's like, I don't care if they're beef or pork, cook some ribs. And I'm like, I can't cook ribs. I always talk about cooking chicken as your first cook. I'm staying true to myself, staying true to what I talk to you guys about. I'm doing chicken. So the next video with the with Tracy will be cooking chicken. Hopefully I'll get that out later. Well, I'll do that later today. And you guys will see that at some point later. So thank you so very much again, as always, for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. Comment below if you have any questions about anything about this uh the trigger I have here. And uh, as always, thank you again, and I'll see you guys next time.